Happy New Year and Happy New Lockdown. So welcome to our first official video of 2021. Um, yeah, what a rubbish start to the year. So we're coming to the end of our first week in national lockdown. Um, Lila hasn't gone back to school. So next week, Lila does have the option to go to school because I am a critical worker. However, we're not going to do that because we're really fortunate that her dad um, can stay at home and homeschool and I can do it in between my shifts at work. Yeah, so if anyone else is just feeling a bit overwhelmed by all of this, I think, well, yeah, exactly the same. So one main difference for us as a family, uh, last lockdown, I had four months off throughout it before I went back to work and I'm working completely throughout this lockdown. Um, so in a way, I'm really grateful for that because it saves getting the cabin fever. Um, last time I found it really hard, but one thing that helped was YouTube and that's why we're going to continue to do it throughout this lockdown. Not sure what we'll be doing because we're all in the same boat. Well, we're all in the same storm, not the same boat. Um, yeah, and it's just, I found YouTube really good way to connect with people and feel that connection as well. So we're just going to carry on vlogging throughout. Not really sure what we'll be able to do because we're kind of limited and considering this channel started as filming days out and different kind of theme parks and attractions, that's not really on the table at the moment. But we love doing YouTube and it does give not a sense of purpose because we have a sense of purpose, but it's nice to kind of have a project and something to keep us busy um because it's all too easy to actually just sit down not even get dressed and the day's just running away and just all blending into one so we're going to try and keep up with the youtube and actually going to try and have a schedule this year so i'm going to start because of shifts at work and other commitments homeschooling um just everything that comes with being a mum and working full time or over full time. So we're going to try and upload videos every Sunday to start with. And, you know, there'll probably be more during the week as well, depending on what we've got up to. So this was a good time for us to start filming this weekend. I put the weekend off work a few months ago because it's my mum's birthday. As it is, I'm not going to be able to go and see my mum. So, um, but at least I have some time at home. Um, yeah and just catch up on all the homey things we still have lots of christmas stuff everywhere toys and just things that need putting away and sorting so might get around to that today but anyway so i'm going to start by putting some of our new year's eve snowy adventures um on next i've done a little montage um and because of my working hours as well we had a fake new year's eve the day after because i worked long day on new year's eve we had a bit of a kind of fake Christmas day as well um, because I was working on Christmas day so it's just been a lot of celebration which is a good thing so I'm going to put some clips in and then I'll catch up with you afterwards Hold up I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah let's go outside We can hang out on the beach with our free isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind blows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Okay, so back to lockdown. Um, 
we've got a few things planned for today. I think we might go and walk the dog in the snow, um, which is always quite good fun because she thinks she likes it for about five minutes. Then she realises she's freezing cold and wants to come home. So she'll, well, well, she often take herself home. Um, we've written a little list of things to do. So hopefully we can get that done. I'm also, excuse my surroundings, sat up in like a little corner of my bedroom. It's just the only quiet spot in the house. We're locked down in a house of five people and a small child um in the middle of nowhere so that's just great but we're safe and we're warm and we don't have any other worries so can't complain too much can i just say as well we're all quite depressed today because it was this time three years ago that we were actually flying right now to orlando and we did plan to have another trip last year obviously that didn't happen um but it's something to look forward to i hope and the planning and organizing of that which I think I might like actually more than the holiday itself. Obviously not really. So for those who don't know, this is Lila. Um, what are we going to do today? Uh, do oh, random stuff. Random stuff. She's definitely my daughter. Yeah, we're going to do random stuff. Some rocky road making. I'm going to crimp her hair. What? what does crimp that your hair. What does that mean? Exactly. Kids today. Um, they're on the bed makes your hair all wavy like a mermaid so i want to crimp her hair because that was like never mind the straighteners or you know having your nails done when i was a child that was the biggest thing get your hair crimped i'll give a quick tour of my chaotic house as we go starting with the christmas bedding still on the bed it has been washed don't want to get rid of it it's very festive if you look out the window, zooming in, see the snow. We live in the highest village in England, so we do get a lot of snow. I don't know if it's Britain or England. It's Britain. Okay, I'm going to Google that later. Right, this is my Christmas corner of gifts that I've not gone through. A random towel chucked there. Where? Where? Here. Small child. Dollies all on the bed. The no, crimpers. they're not dollies. Oh, they're not toy cars, are they? <laughs> turning around to the chaotic hallway um eldest son in his bedroom working hard teenage son in that bedroom probably clothes rail coat rail in the hallway <laughs> <laughs> motivational <laughs> words from rocky in the hallway my favorite pizza ladder ready to paint the hallway what we're painting the hallway we were a few months ago and then <laughs> see needs painting snow boots ready for our walk oh, yeah. I feel it, I feel it. Husband playing. Christmas food, Christmas food. Okay, so show us the yeah. colouring pages. So I think in honour of us flying to Orlando today, three years ago. So you get these from oh, Get Colouring Pages. And they've got loads of different Disney World ones. Wait, what? And we were in Disney? We were flying to Disney World three years ago today. Three years ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I'm seven at the You minute. had your fifth birthday in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And we went to the Royal Table. So, so this is on our list. We're going to do some colouring on our very busy list. Let's do it. I didn't finish this oh. one. Yeah, we've given up the, don't see that the castles. One. Don't see that one. So I'm going to do that later. Just don't see that one. I think Epcot's quite hard to colour, isn't it? Because a lot is just white. You're not meant to see that. Yeah, so this is from Little Cooks. And I think you can get a subscription because there's a record book for every recipe and things that you make. Oh. So let's have a look through here. Okay. I'm to we can put this up on the wall. So what do you do? Get a sticker for every food colour you what, eat. What, what days, what food is So we're, wait, wait, we can wait. start on Saturday. Yes, it's got so peppers. Can you read out some more? What do you have to eat? Saturday. Get the food. So peppers. You like peppers? Peas. Yeah. Pumpkin. Oh, we don't have any pumpkins left. Blue and yellow. <gasps> okay. Wait, so we'll stick that? it on the wall. So what's that? Well, whatever what you eat color? today, you get a little sticker. What colour is that? No, it's not about the day. It's what you eat on the day. Eat. It's got other recipes. And vouchers in there. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay. So I'm just standing here like brandishing a weapon. Um, so we come out into the kitchen to do this. Um, it comes with its own little recipe card. 
So it's quite straightforward. Well, here it's straightforward. You can guarantee that we're burning it. Lila's gonna, I don't know why you've got the tomato sauce there. Have a cup of milk to start with. We're gonna melt the butter. This I'm also counting as a bit of a maths lesson because we don't know where our scales are. We need 90 grams of butter. So Lila's gonna work out how we work that out. Hey, how long are you there? Because you'll know, 250 grams. Right, we're gonna work it out and put it in the pan. So we're gonna start to melt the instructions to you now. Okay, so we're not gonna put things in a blender. You just need to pour what I say in the bowl as the butter melts. Okay, so in the bowl, you need to put in the dates and the oats. Hopefully everything's labeled. So this is what, oh no, the butter sizzling, that doesn't sound good. Right, this is what came in the little kit there. Oats, so they need to go in. Dates. Ooh. Looks good. We had to stop to put on aprons. Lovely little apron. Ready? Yep. Yay. Now the dates. Yes. I thought dates were prunes, but I'm not sure. Lovely. And then we're going to put the milk in. Not your drink. Oh, yeah, put a good squirt in. Look at the state of your sleeve. Oh, I think that's enough. Oh. It does smell nice now. It smells like when I used to have cookery lessons at school and it smells like cookery lesson, which it kind of is. Now it says to toast the groats. I have no idea. Groats. Buckwheat groats. I saw it there. So we're going to toast them. Let's get a little pan. I think we can put it in the butter pan. Hello. Have you come to cook? Okay, pour them in. I'm going to heat up. We'll toast them in the same pan. So she's cooking. Okay, so for four minutes, and we need to keep shaking the pan. I'll just read out this bit of information I found. Buckwheat groats are gluten free seeds from a plant related to rhubarb. They are high in fiber, protein, minerals such as zinc, which helps give us energy. Hmm, if you don't have any she's buckwheat, just reading off that. buckwheat groats, you can use hazelnuts. Um, they're not really shakeable because they've got butter on. Cheeky, cheeky. I think they're a bit burnt. Um, they smell like shredded wheat. No, sugar puffs. <laughs> Sorting out my hair. This is the cookery mum bun. <laughs> okay. So let's pop them in. Ooh, that's Ooh. Busy. It seems like it's gonna to get those Look at out. The No. So now everything that's left, you can just pour in and mix up. I'll turn the oven on to preheat. I'm not sure what they are actually. So I'll read are, out what they are. They are chopped organic. apricots. Oh, sorry, darling. I didn't or, know. Or, organic apricots. What were the other ones? Orange puffed brown rice. Organic puffed brown rice. Oh. Extra bag. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the well-known ingredient, extra bag. Um, Quickly, organic, get it over the bowl. Organic uh, raw. It's basically chocolate powder, isn't it? It's a caca. Caca. <laughs> so it's, yeah, that's what chocolate's made from, isn't it? <laughs> I from like a, how I... A bean. I like how I went extra bad. Yeah. How does it feel? Is it feeling a bit thicker? I don't know what it feels like. <laughs> Can I put my hand in a feeling? So we've given that a really good mix. And now like I suppose we need to cook it. I was not prepared. So we can't burn this because you don't cook it. Why? Line your dish, scrape the mixture into it, press the mixture down firmly, and then put it in the freezer to set for 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. That's not a lot. No, we can do that while we clear up. Yeah, Let's bye. Do Okay, so it's 
it's in the freezer, that gives me 20 minutes to tidy up because Lila's disappeared. Thanks, Lila. So she's appeared to lick the spoon. Getting our tea stuff ready for afternoon tea. See, is it set? Hmm. I'm not sure. It's still a bit squishy. So I'll put a few out. Oh, and put the rest back in the freezer. Go. Afternoon tea crew. Yeah, there's just two of them. It looks lovely. It doesn't look healthy. No, but these are quite healthy. Be the taste tester. <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down? In Undecided. Middle. I'm going to try in, in a minute. Middle. Mine with a cup of tea. Okay. I'll try mine with. No, mine's not cute. I've got a huge cup. Can I give yours a little stir? So we're going for our daily exercise Hi, and to drop my mum's birthday presents off in a little's bag because we're so classy. I'm going to show you a winter ensemble. Lovely. Show us your snowman. Sort of, well, what's left I of him. He kicked his head off. Oh, Mouse is shivering. No, Come on, let's go. What are you going to do with that? Uh, let's go out at Mama. <gasps> oh, ah! There's a car! There's a car! There's a car! Oh no, it's the one that needs present, look. Oh, in there. That was a massive fail. I think I might have gone a bit overkill with the snow boots. What? To show my snow boots. Although there's still snow around. Stop throwing snow at me. Look how misty it is. What happened to your ear? <laughs> Mouse, you can't go in there. Mouse wants to live there now. <laughs> your ear. She's having ear issues. So we dropped our presents off and come out with this. So let's go and see what's in there. Oh, oh. For you and Lila to do things with, to play with. What oh, for? Oh. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Just saying what she said. Oh, I think it's all falling out. Look at your apron on, Lila. Oh. <laughs> I came walking in my apron. Video scope. <gasps> a video scope? I thought it was a microscope. Okay. Put them on slides and you look through there at them and it looks like it links to the telly. Oh, oh. Let's have a look. <gasps> Orange Smarties. What size are the batteries? So we've had our healthy daily exercise and dropped my mum's presents off. And she's given us all of that, which isn't too healthy. So we're going to put it on the never ending Christmas food side and get a dinner on the go. Um, I've got no, well, that's a lie. I was going to say I've got a few potatoes. Obviously, I don't find it essential enough to go and drive six miles to our shop to get some more potatoes. So I'm just going to have to make do. Oh, you've got a piece of snow now, have yeah, you? Yeah, but it's lost its thingy because it's... But I don't know what that is. That's a tiny like bit of... Yeah, of that's what that you is. See. It's a bug. <gasps> what does it say on these? That one says... Um... Antenna, oh, leg. On our leg. My goodness. <gasps> it's coronavirus. <laughs> Look at Mouse snuggling with Foxy. Oh, that it looks like a spider. My hair looks like sticks. It looks like the sun coming through the trees. Oh. That's the trees. Cotton looks like a big snowflake. I'm so happy no one got me this. Oh, I know, it's lovely. Thank 
you everyone for watching our lovely little what? Saturday vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've all had a good Saturday too. Um, yeah, we're going to try and do uploads every Sunday now, maybe on a Wednesday and a few shorts in between. Um, so if you haven't already, then please subscribe and yeah, we'll see you very soon. So, oh, <laughs> it just blinded me. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.